Hello, and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Shala Ott, and today we are going to learn about points, lines, line segments, angles, and rays. For this lesson, you will need paper, a pencil, some markers or colored pencils, and a ruler if you have one. Let's get started. When you draw a number line, what do you draw at the ends? What does this tell us? The arrows tell us that the line goes on and on in both directions. When you draw a number line, you are only drawing a part of it. A real line is too long to fit on your paper because it goes on and on forever. Draw a line on your paper. Whether you drew a horizontal line or a vertical line or a diagonal line, you drew a line segment. Line segments have a beginning and end point. They do not go on and on forever. These line segments have points on each end to show the starting and ending points of the lines. These line segments could also have other points on them, not just at the ends. Draw a point somewhere on your line segment. Rays combine parts of both a line segment and a line. A ray is a line that has one end or stopping point, but goes on and on in the other direction. An arrow is used to show that the ray keeps going. Rays have an end point and can have other points on them. Draw a ray on your paper. Two rays that have the same endpoint create an angle. The space inside the two rays is the angle. Draw two rays with the same endpoint on your paper. You drew an angle. Mathematicians, that's you, use special symbols to identify lines, line segments, rays, angles, and points. They identify points and endpoints with capital letters. This helps us identify points and line segments. This is line segment AB and point Q. Mathematicians have a shorter way to write it too. It looks like this. The letters identifying the line segment are written with a small line above them to indicate this is line segment AB. Name the endpoints on your line with letters. Now write the symbol that mathematicians use to name your line segment. Don't forget the little line across the top of the two letters. We use the same method to name lines and rays. Lines are named with any two points on the line. Rays are named with the end point and one other point on the ray. To show a line, we write the two letters on the line and draw a small line with arrows on each end above it. Like this. 
For a ray, we write the points that name the ray and draw a small ray on the top of the letters. Like this. Can you find a line on this picture? Can you write the symbol on your paper for the line? You might have named line A, C. Or you might have a few different names for the horizontal line. As long as you used any two points on the line, you did it. Can you find a ray in this picture? Write the symbol on your paper for one of the rays you see. You might have named ray DF, which is here. But you also may have named ray DE, which is here. You might have also named ray CB or ray C. A. All of those are rays. Now it's your turn. Use your colored pencils or markers and a ruler if you have one to draw your own picture with lines, line segments, rays, and angles. Put some points on your lines and name them with capital letters. Can you use mathematical symbols to name some lines, rays, and line segments? You can continue to work on this after the video. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned about lines, line segments, rays, angles, and points. Try to find some at home today. I'm Shala Ott. I hope you have a great day and keep on counting.